Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Get the music started. We'll start with faded tone like we always do. And this will be a pretty active class. And we're going to focus on arms today. Let's bring our awareness to our breath. On the first bell, take a deep breath in. And let go of stress, anxiety, worry, and fear. Last round. Nicely done. Inhale, lengthen, stretch, and reach overhead. Hands come above the head and touch. Palms together. Exhale, hands at heart center. Bow your head only if you wish. Inhale, lengthen, stretch, reach. Grab onto that hope of the new day. Exhale. And release. And one more. Inhale, lengthen, stretch, and reach. And exhale. Good. Arms and wide V, right hand. I mean, left hand, right knee, right hand behind the body. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to twist. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, go deeper. Oh, it feels good. Maybe one more. On your next exhale, bring the arms and wide V and twist the other way. Beautiful. Try to go deeper, deeper, deeper. Maybe you have some light music playing. Maybe you can hear this. Probably not that well. Inhale, pitch forward. Exhale, round and back. Squeeze your abs. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Let's transition to soupy grind. Going as big or as little, as fast or as slow. As feels good to you in this moment. Pause in the middle and go the other way. Nicely done. Inhale, lengthen, stretch and reach. Side stretch to the right. All the way up, bend over. Good. Let's make our arms go wide. Interlace your fingers behind you. Pop your chest open. Breathe and notice. If you want to, you can hinge at your hips and bring yourself forward as far as is comfortable. If I had a block, I might be putting my head on the block. But I don't, so I'm not. <laughs> Exhale up and shake that out. Transitioning to all fours. Oh, it's like you got cow and mad cat. Good, just continuing a few cycles on your own if you want to slow this down a little bit more or pick it up a little faster. Do what feels good to you. Okay. If you have your weights ready, we're going to try balancing cat with a weight. So we've got um, right leg back, left arm floating up. Just holding this in isolation right here. Breathe. 
breathe. Mindfully turn the wrist so the palm is up. Notice the difference in the shoulder and in the arm. Turn it back. Point it so that your thumb is kind of pointing toward the floor and your pinky is pointing toward the sky, so rotate your wrist that way. Rotate it so you're like eating an ice cream cone. And rest. We're gonna do this again, but we're gonna add on to it in a minute. Let's do the other side first to give this arm a break. Balance and cap. So floating the arm up, the palm is towards the floor here, thumb is towards, I don't know where it's towards, but <laughs> the middle of the body, I guess. Rotate the wrist so the palm is up. Just noticing the difference in your arm when you do this, turning it so that you're pouring water out like breathe, and then turning it again like an ice cream cone and bring it down. I'm just gonna grab one on each side. Okay, balancing, whoops, first side, balancing cat with the um, crunches. So it's in, crunch out, in, crunch out, in. Woo! Breathe, reach. Oh yeah, four more. Whoop. Ah, uh, two more. Last one. We're gonna go ahead and lower the right leg back, and that was the leg that was working, and we're gonna bring it down like a, like a pigeon, but our knee isn't quite as in an angle. Relax here, a couple breaths. You should feel this in your back, like kind of stretching out as opposed to what we were just doing in the back. So it gives it a break. We need that in other side. Left leg back, right arm up, and 10 crunches with the weight if you're choosing to use weight. In, and exhale. I'm hot already. Oh, breathe. These lights make it really hot. Oh. Now four more, you can do it, three. I, I lost count, two more, I think. Oh. One more. Reach that down, slowly reach that leg back. Bending forward. Relaxing in the low back. Good. Okay, coming on your knees. Now, being on your knees for a while is going to be super uncomfortable. Go ahead and um, tuck your yoga mat under. Okay, whoops. You're going to have two weights. Got a weight and a dinger. On those knees, inhale up, forward, all the way up to open the chest. Down, forward, up, down, good. Nice and slow, just noticing, let's bring our attention to the pecs, the muscles in the upper chest. When you go slow, see if you can feel them moving and which way they're moving. Really notice your body. A couple more here. Lower down. Um, come into tippy toes pose just to give your knees a break. So basically you're on your toes. We're gonna try to straighten the back. My, I still have my weights. Breathe. Okay, lift the weights up. See if you can draw them behind you and hold here. Just notice and breathe. We're going back to our knees in a second. Coming down slowly. Oh, okay. We're gonna kick back with our um, tricep kick back. So it's push, push, keep going. We're just pumping arms. We're gonna add legs in a minute. I've gotta straighten out my mat, but keep going because I don't want to trip. 
All right, let's bring our right foot forward to that low lunge tricep kickback. Are you ready? Tuck your back toes under. Here we go. We're going to push up. Two, three, four. Lower. Two, three, four. Keep going. Up. Two, three, four. Lower. Two, three. Last round, then we'll switch sides, but the arms are not changing. Two, three. Keep pumping back. Two, three, four. Knees down for, for keep going, keep pumping. Woo! All right, other foot forward. Push it back. Two, three, four. Tuck it under, up. Two, three. Can you start to feel it after these? One, two. This is working your balance, two. Four and up. Woo! I'm sweating. Three, four. We got two more cycles. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Woo! Three, four. And last set. And one, two. We're going to stay on our knees. Pump it up. Two, three, four. Coming down, lowering those weights. Oh my goodness. Camel pose, hands can be behind you with fingers pointing down. Push it coming forward. Let that, um, the shoulders come back behind you open. Or you can be in full camel. Hop the hips. Breathe. Oh, this good, my heart's pumping. <laughs> okay, plank pose. Here we go. Or your version thereof, and I know you too. You two are probably in regular plank. Push your way and breathe. Whew. We're gonna do lots of variations in plank, but we're just gonna give ourselves a little bit of break for a second. Downward facing dog. Okay, here's, here's the flow for right now. We haven't even done some salutations yet. It's gonna be tap, two, three, four, one push up, down dog. That's the flow and that um, demonstration didn't count. We have four sets. Ready? Plank, lead, tap, two, three, Four, remember you can be on your knees for your push ups. Down dog. Take a breath. On the exhale, plank. Try to lead the other side. Tap. Two, three, four, one push up. Down dog. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale to plank. Here we go. Tap. Two, three, four, one push up. And down dog. Inhale. Exhale, last set. Lead the other side, one, two, three, four. Last push up. Well, for now. Ah, down dog. Breathe. Rest in child. About three slow deep breaths here. When you're ready, let's move through modified plank right here. For on your forearms. Okay, we're gonna do uh, mountain climbers here. So you can step it in if you want to, or you can add a little more cardio by running. Push the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And hold it like still breathe. Push the shoulders away from the ears, you got this. Lower the knees, coming up, back to your version of camel. Breathe, push it coming forward. Exhale. We're gonna repeat that whole thing, starting with down dog, plank taps. The whole cycle, then we'll move on. Okay, get ready. Plank, breathe. Exhale, down dog. 
Inhale here. Exhale, plank four times. Go four, three, two, one. Push up. Down dog. Inhale. Exhale, plank. Tap. Four, three, two, one. Push up. Down dog. Inhale. Exhale, plank. Lean. Four, three, two. One, one push up. Woo! Down dog, breathe. Exhale, plank. Last set right here. Two, three, four, plank. I mean, plank. Push up. Down dog. Breathe. Coming through plank. Lower down. This time, instead of a mountain climbers, knees come out. Out. Out, breathe, breathe. Let's go. Hut. Woo. Three, four, four more. Go. Woo. Three, four. Push back to plank. Notice. Rest and child. Huh. So wedding. Breathe. Coming up, camel. Exhale. Standing um, in mountain, we're going to do our three sun salutations and then we'll pick it back up with our weights. Okay. So you're in mountain. Inhale. Exhale, swan. Forward fold. Half lift to lengthen, forward fold, go deeper. Step back right. Runners on, step back left. Plank. I'm going to go ahead and do crocodile. Please feel free to do chaturanga. I'll meet you in your up dog or your cobra. Tuck your toes under, down dog, lengthen. Breathe. Walk that in. Four, four. Inhale, exhale, reverse spine dive up. Touch to the top, exhale. Forward fold, spine dive down. Half lift, lengthen that spine, forward fold, go deeper. Step back left. Woo! Step back right, plank, super strong in plank. I'm gonna do one more crocodile. Open the chest and the heart. Exhale, tuck your toes under, down dog, lengthen. Breathe. On the next exhale, walk it forward. Okay, well, if your waist are where you can grab them, grab them. Inhale, exhale. Chair. Okay, so chair, bring your elbows in so don't let them hang out here. Okay, and we're gonna reach out and in. So fingertips are facing each other for this round. In your chair. Good posture with your back. Reach out, pull it in. Out, pull it in. Woo! Come on. Come on, maybe you feel like you can go deeper and you probably can with your feet apart because that's the nature of our body, right? Give you more room to get our hips lower. So if you want to intensify, go ahead and separate your feet. Breathe. Push it out, pull it in, push it out. Woo! Keep going. Uh-huh, a couple more, you got this. Two more, woo, my goodness. Okay, coming down, letting go of those weights. Inhale, exhale, set that right foot, breathe. Set that left foot, plank. Okay, you're gonna go down, down, up, up, twice, one, Try to leave the other side twice. Then chaturanga or crocodile. I'm going to do my chaturanga now. Bend down dog. Breathe. Walk your feet to your hands. Grab those weights. Inhale, exhale. Chair, hold them down for a second. Situate yourself so you're happy. Fingers are facing in. Now fingers are facing out. 
Elbows will go out. We never practice this. Feel how it changes everything. Feel opens the chest more here. Love. Sit deeper if you want. Hold. It's like a rowing machine, but I'm asking you to switch your wrists a little bit. Just for fun. Breathe. Uh, come on. 200 more. Just kick. How about eight more starting now? My legs are engaged too. Woo! My legs are feeling it too. Uh huh. Six. Two more. Come on. Seven. Eight. Step your feet together. Lower down slowly and carefully. Inhale here. Exhale. Step back to the left foot. Pause. Okay. Coming into plank. Remember, you can be bent by plank. Down, down, up, up. Twice, go. Breathe. Breathe. Chaturanga or crocodile. Keep your back bend. Tuck your toes under down dog. Plank. Breathe. Oh. Walk your feet in. Grab your weights. Roll up slow. More like a goddess this time. I'm going to put my feet apart. Okay. So we are going to do what we usually do, but we're not going to let our legs straighten. So you know how we go? We usually straighten. We're just going to stay here and down and up. And up. Breathe. Huh. Woo! You got this. Uh. Really opening the chest. Pulling your elbows back and down. And up. Oh my goodness. Couple more. All right, eight more. One, oh, two. My legs are praying for mercy. Six, seven, one more. Eight, full over wide legs, soft, lower those. Step back right so that you're in a spider lunge. Step back left so you're in a plank. Okay, this time we're gonna um, push with our toes forward and back eight times. One, back, two, three, four, five, oh my gosh, six, seven, eight. Down dog, catch your breath. Plank, shut that on your back now. Go. Tuck your toes under down dog. Wait then. Walk it in. Grab your weights. Come up slow. Wide into goddess. Okay. This time we've got in and open. Alright, we're gonna do two sets. First set. We're not going to engage the abs as, in, as much in terms of we're just going to move the arms. So everything else is staying as still as you can. Wait. Really try to touch the elbows right there if you can, and then pull them as far apart. Touch. And actually let them hold. Breathe like a whole breath almost. Touch and hold. Woo! It's harder, right? Harder than just moving through it. Touch and hold. Open. Good. Take a break. All right, this time we're going to engage the abs. By which I mean when we come forward, we're rounding our shoulders forward and crunching our head like we got to punch in the gut, bring it in. So, one to show here. See how many hips step under and open. All right, here we go. And open. And every time you open, try to go lower, come up a little line up. If you can. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Help me. Four more. I'm dying. 
Oh my gosh. Two. One more. Oh my gosh. Lower. Walk your feet in carefully to forward fold. Then walk them out. <laughs> Step back with what leg? I think your left leg. So you are in the spider one. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, great. Plank. Woo, check that on your go. Down up. All right, we gotta do that roll toe thing. So last set here, plank. Push it forward and back eight times. Go slow. Feel the change in the wrist. Only go as it's comfortable. Oh my gosh, push the shoulders away from yours. Four more. I'm sweating. Two. One. Lower. Child's pose. Oh, my goodness. Coming up, let's take care of our arms a second before we move on. Just on your knees, sitting on, sitting on my heels here. Just calm and easy for a second. Rolling my wrists both ways. Let's take care of our shoulders before we move on. So right arm comes across, up and over. Oh, other side, oh. I'm telling you, I'm sweating. Oh, get your drink of juice. <laughs> Prepare for our warrior sequence. Okay, so we're gonna use weight. <coughs> well, I'm not sure how, like, I'll probably do some weight and some without. Give us some weight. All right, inhale. Exhale, step back. Warrior one. Pump down and up. Breathe. Good. Six, seven, eight. Warrior two. This first set, we're just going to do doorknobs. Breathe. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Woo. We're gonna step it together. Okay, we're gonna move through chair. So we're gonna pull and open, and then straighten it back. So it's squat. Remember that you can have your feet apart. I'm just gonna keep my feet together. Just sit. I want to see what it feels like here, so do what you want. Pull it back. Push it out. Woo! Two more. We got the other step before we do a round without weights. Inhale, exhale, step back. Worry one, other side. In, up. Breathe. You got this. Woo! Push it back, push it up two more. All right, warrior two, doorknobs. Three. Woo! I'm sweating. Couple more. And we're gonna step it together. Repeat, this time I'm gonna widen my legs. But the same thing, just because I like to do it both ways and experience the difference. I notice different things when I move my body slightly in different ways. And I like that. Makes me feel alive, makes me feel connected to myself, helps me understand myself better. Four more. I don't know about you guys, but my arms are like, Oh yeah, two more. Woo! And settle these down. We're gonna do an entire flow, both sides with no weights for a second. Okay, inhale, 
Exhale, warrior one. Breathe. We're recovering so we can pick them back up again. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe, reverse warrior. Come in through, straighten the leg. Tip, triangle. Breathe and notice. Oh. Bring that right hand down so you can end up in your pyramid. Okay, warrior three, bend the front leg. Hopping up, warrior three. Hands can be four, five, back, or two, every leg, every leg, breathe. Oh, that's not so easy to try to turn away warrior three and not fall back. Oh. Exhale, mountain pose. I am strong at the mountain. I will not be pushed around. Breathe. That body weights anyway. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Step back. Left foot, warrior one. One round, one full round. That's the weights, picking them back up after this round. So just breathe. Let your arms get a chance to recover a little bit. Let the blood get flowing back in there. Warrior two, focus. Notice, settle. Inhale, exhale, reverse warrior. Coming back through warrior two, straightening the legs. Tip four and now breathe. Exhale, left hand comes down to your pyramid. Turning those hips back forward, noticing. Inhale, exhale, bending the front knee slightly. To move through warrior three. Hands wherever you wish. My compassion gives me strength. Reach. Feel how strong you are. Feel, feel how balanced and centered you are. Exhale, willow tree. And threes. Okay. Loosen up that back a little bit. Loosen up those arms, because get ready. We're doing another round. Okay. Ready? Pick up those weights. Let's move back into crescent moon this time. So stepping back. This is like pulling up your pants right here. Pull them up and set them down. Pull up your pants, set them down. Good. Squeeze. Bring them. Uh, the, bring the hands as close to your body as you can. Shoulders are pushing away from the ears. You're not letting them come up by your ears. Breathe. Keep going, a couple more. Drop the back foot. Push it back, back to those tricep kickbacks. Yay! Push, push. Uh-huh. Okay. Coming into, so the foot is off the floor. We are going to do a bounce down too. So we're gonna be here and both knees are 90 degrees. Kick, down, extend, down, extend, breathe. Huh. Oh yeah, push, push, two more. Push. One more. Step to warrior two. I'm falling. <laughs> All right, watch your warrior two. Breathe. You know what we gotta do to shoot the arrows. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Let your head follow your hand, it's moving. It's good for your neck. Oh. I'm sweating, big time. Two more. Last one. Hold. 
Bring it up, pull it down. Up and down. Oh, my goodness, my fingers. Fingernails are pointing to the ceiling here. Up and pull. And pull two more. Oh, my goodness. From here, wide leg forward fold, breathe. Weights are down. Oh, just notice. Just surrender here. You can have your knees back. This, should, this is a little bit of our store. Refresh and renew. Exhale, coming up. We got to repeat on the other side. Hopefully, I can remember all that. So, we started in crescent moon. And this. I forgot. Okay. Up and down. Breathe. Breathe. Good. Reach. Two more. Okay, this might be out of order, but I'm trying to get it all in. And then kick. Down. Kick. Woo! Breathe. Reach. Come on, you got this. Reach, I'm sweating. Four more. Hold that eight, five, six, hold it up. 
seven, a hold. From here, can you ride yourself into boat? Hold. Purposely push the shoulders down. Breathe. Open, in. Open, in. Breathe, four more. Oh, I'm shaking. Three, two, one, lower. Weights down, then that's a stack pose. Push your hands into the mat, open up your heart space, pull your feet back. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Exhale, sweep the arms up. Inhale, forward fold. Oh my goodness. Coming into that butterfly. And push the shoulders back and down. Open up the heart space first. Shoulders going down your back. You guys are doing awesome if you're still with me. Are you breathing, I hope? Uh, okay, you can pitch forward with a straight back. You can round down. But you can stay tall. I'm gonna probably stay tall. Let's practice flower pose, a little balance on our high knee. So inch, um, grab it underneath your feet, coming into that flower. <sighs> Breathe. Hmm. Just notice and relax. And then lowering, we're gonna keep the right leg in, we're gonna take the left leg, we're gonna kick it up, and we're gonna pull it toward our face. So flex foot, try to sit tall on your back, so I was kinda, of, you might have noticed that, I just, I just realized when I brought my attention to the back, I was thinking about my back, and I was like, oh, I'm slouching. So bring your attention to your back, see if you can straighten up a little bit more for good posture. Softly lower this leg to the floor. We're gonna stay right in this position and do a forward fold. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Oh, sorry. My husband's fine, but breathe. Inhale, let's put the seat down, sweep up, tummy back, push lips forward. Exhale, sitting on the high knee for Z position, twist toward, twist toward the skeleton, <laughs> twist toward your tummy. Exhale, twist away. Cow face pose or your version thereof. So I'm really warm, so I think I'm gonna do a better job than, than um, I have been doing since we've been out of the studio. I don't practice it that much, but this is better for me. <laughs> oh, we celebrate your successes. Okay, my right foot is over my left, so my right hand goes up. I cannot touch, so I'm just gonna do the best I can. I don't have a strap, I'm just gonna fake it. And forward fold. If that's too much, feel free to let go of your arms and just cuddle. Whatever you want. Let's take five or six really slow breaths here. So I'll let you know, just notice. Coming out of that, let's go back into that fish pose. Legs out, fish. Pull the shoulders back and down. Expose the throat. Let the jaw, lower jaw, softly come away from the upper jaw. Exhale, that time I did not notice as much sensation. Inhale, straight, 
Stretch up, exhale, forward fold. Coming down into bridge. Breathe. Bring the feet in, interlace the fingers, pop them up if you wish. Pull. Squeeze your booty. We're gonna add on a little here before we do the other side. Exhale, bringing the legs up. Inhale, exhale, shoulder stand. Inhale, exhale, shoulder stand. Breathe. See if you can walk your hands up your back even more. Inhale, exhale, plow. Inhale, exhale, up. Bring it to boat. We're not picking up the weights. We're cool it. We're bringing it down. Bring it to boat. And lower. Moving back into butterfly. Okay, before we do, I'm switching my high knee up because we're going to rock backwards. <laughs> okay. Before we did flower, this time we're gonna do seal. It's much like flower. Except for we rock, and when we come back to here, clap three times. So back, rock, or back. I'm hoping we're not to hit anything back here. Clap, two, three, again. Balance and have fun. That's part of yoga too, right? Having fun. One, two, three, pause. Okay, we got um, the right foot extended, left foot comes in, we're gonna bend the left foot, we're gonna pull it up, 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 towards your face, flex foot, then readjust your spine to grow taller instead of slouch here. If you can, so that might make your leg drop a little, that's okay because really good spinal health and strong posture is more important than how how you can, you know, get your leg, at least in this instance. Then we're gonna bring, oh, we did this. We brought it down and we did forward fold. Exhale, that leg is gonna come across over. We got our version of cow face. So, right arm, left arm, or both, do your best. Breathe. Exhale, bringing this um, back and pushing up into that similar gate pose, not quite gate, but what do I call it, mermaid or something? Oh, it feels great. Exhale, let's get ready for pigeons. Okay. Coming to plank, downward facing dog. Right leg goes high in the air, three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, pull it through. Adjust yourself so you are in your best version of pigeon. And then moving forward.
Exhale, coming up. Drop the shoulders back and down. Oh, good. Okay, coming back through to your plank. Super strong plank. Last little bit here. We're going to hold this for one minute. And you can always drop to your knees. This is the last little one. You got this. I gave you a lot of rest, right? Before we try to do one more little thing with the arms. Breathe. Don't worry, I'm keeping my eye on the time. I got a timer right in front of me. It's been five seconds. Just kidding, it's been 15. Breathe, push away, be strong. Sometimes we grow and get better when we really feel exhausted and we push ourselves just a little more because it's almost over. 30 more seconds, I know you can do this. I, I am shaking, like I can feel my core shaking, my arms. <laughs> Everything like, wow, we worked hard. We got about 23 seconds. Breathe. Hmm. Okay, last five seconds. Here it is, one more deep breath. Breathe and notice, and rock it back. Left leg high in there. Inhale, exhale, pull. Here we go, pigeon. Bring it forward. Rest. Noticing 
Like there's vibrant energy kind of bumping around in there, or do they feel crampy? Do they feel relaxed? Inhale, exhale, send a healing breath to any part of your foot that might need some little attention. Bring up to your legs and your knees, just noticing how they're feeling. Exhale. Signing a human breath or a breath of gratitude for all the work they did today. Moving up to your thighs and your booty and your hamstrings. Inhale. Exhale. Noticing any sensations. Bring your attention to your abs and your hips, your low back. Inhale. Let your belly become full with air, full of hope and love for yourself and others. Exhale. Get rid of fear. Get rid of intolerance. Get rid of worry. Inhale. Up to the heart and the lungs and the upper chest. Nourish your body with your breath. Exhale. Get rid of anything that does not serve you. And let's spend some time now on the shoulders and all the work they did today. Inhale. Exhale. Picture the breath coming in and around the shoulders and exhale out any feelings of discomfort or pain. Setting the breath now down the arm. For it's with the arms that we embrace the world. Inhale. Exhale. Breath of gratitude. Focusing on the wrists and the hands. Our hands are instruments in which we are creative. Our brain thinks it and our hands build it. Inhale. Exhale, sending gratitude to the hands for all that they're able to allow us to achieve. Truly remarkable and setting us apart from all other animals. Bring your attention to your neck, your face. Inhale. Exhale, let your face soften. Two more breaths here. Inhale. And for the next one minute, just sit in silence, thinking about those arms, how strong they are, and all that you're able to do. We get hugs with our arms. We are able to cook and reach and manipulate things, grasp for things, hold tools, write, brush a little girl's hair, Whatever it is we're doing, be thankful for all they allow us to do. For one more minute. You'll hear a chime at the end of this meditation. playing the air piano. Then circle your wrists one way, 
Let's check out your wrist the other way. Float your arms down, squeezing your legs, scrunching your toes, and relaxing and wiggling your toes. So going your ankles one way, and then the other way. And then slowly when you're ready, making your way to your side. Resting as long as you need before you make your way to seated. I'll just do three breaths while I wait for you to get to seated, inhaling. Let's put our hands together. Thank you for joining me today. I'm so glad you did. It's going to be a beautiful Sunday, not too hot. Uh, thumbs on the forehead. May I know my truth? May I see my truth? May I speak my truth? And may I feel my truth? Namaste. And Jackie and Don, feel, feel free to message me if you like the class or any feedback always helps me grow and get better. So I appreciate you. Thank you. Have an awesome day.